Yo, what's going on, Phantom Thieves? I'm back with another video, and today we're gonna actually talk about a controller I got. It's the uh, Spectra controller. It's a wired controller from Nintendo. Well, it's it's licensed by Nintendo. It's from Power A, but um, I usually don't. I don't do wired controllers, but because of the way I have a setup uh, behind me, sometimes I don't want to use this, which. And don't get me wrong, this is an excellent controller. This is the uh, the Pro Controller from Nintendo. But sometimes, you know, I get nervous with control drift and all that stuff. So I decided, you know, let's go with a wire controller. Let's, uh, let's actually see how this is. So, like I said, this is licensed by Nintendo. There are eight different colors on this. Um, I do want to note to you guys that there are no rumble features. You cannot use the Amiibo support. And uh, there was one more thing, um, no motion controls, no motion controls. So I don't use any of those. Like the rumble is nice, but you know, it is what it is. Um, this was actually on sale. So I'm not going to complain too much about the price, especially when you get it on sale. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open this up and we're going to go ahead and give a quick review. Nothing, nothing too long. I don't want to waste your guys' time, you know, with stuff that we don't need to talk about. So we're gonna talk about the fill of the controller. Here's the uh, the 10 foot braided uh, wire that you get that uh, connects to your switch. And then we are gonna talk about the controller itself. So, oh, okay, hold on. Let me, uh, let me move all this extra stuff real quick. All right, so first things first, what do I think about the actual controller? So there's like a, a matte finish to it. Um, I can definitely tell if you have greasy fingers, make sure to keep this controller clean. Make sure to keep it clean because if not, you will definitely you will definitely see uh, fingerprints all over this controller. They do have two buttons on the back if you want to, uh, you know, use those for mappable buttons, which is nice. All right. The buttons feel really nice. The analog sticks actually feel pretty good on this, so that's pretty good. All right. You gotta, you gotta really get it in there. All right. But like I said, um, yeah, this is pretty nice so far. This is what it looks like up close. I like the finish to it. It actually feels really good. Uh, it's a, it actually feels, uh, it feels about the same size. It feels about the same weight wise as the Pro Controller. So if you don't want a super light controller, I think that's pretty nice. So one thing we're actually gonna get into now is what I've been waiting for, because like I told you guys, there are multiple colors to this. I've never had a controller that, you know, you got multiple colors. So we'll go ahead and plug this in and we are going to go ahead and see what this is like. All right. So, and we're going to keep that plugged in too, but let's go ahead and get this untangled here. We don't do edits around here. So everything you see is what you get. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh, this is a lot of, uh, a lot. 10 feet is definitely good. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and uh, see what this is about. All right, so it'll uh, turn on when you see it, you know, when you plug it in, it'll turn on. All right, so we on the back, you have the LED and you have the program. So if you want a program, that's gonna be at the top. I don't know why I did it so close like y'all can really see that, but the program button's at the top, the LEDs are at the bottom. So let's go ahead and actually go through these LEDs. That's actually that's actually pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a little cheap, but uh, no, no, not at all. And actually, hold on. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. You ain't gonna see me as much, but uh, like I said, I want y'all to actually be able to see this. So, wow. All right. So we have like a this is like an aqua green kind of color. You got the nice red there. You got your standard green. You got blue, which is probably what I'll rock with. You have your nice pink. You have a yellow. It's like a yellow green, but we're going to go with yellow. Then you have an aqua color. And I think, let's see. Okay, you got orange. There we go. This is nice. So it'll actually function and go through all of your colors. So yeah, I like it. I, I really like this controller. Like I said, I got it for a good deal. It was about $22. So I did put a warranty, so it was like 25 after the warranty, but it was for a year warranty just in case something happens to, con to the controller. But um, yeah, I actually really like the I like the feel of it. I'm gonna give you guys a heads up uh, in about 
a couple of weeks to see if there's any drift or problems with the controller. But just as a first impression, this is nice. Actually, we're going to go to the blue here. But uh, yeah, this is actually nice. And if you guys can find it, it's usually $40 or $44 if you go to GameStop. It's usually around $40, $44. Like I said, I got this on a big discount. So for the price of this, I actually think this is a, a really cool controller. If you guys... uh. If you guys have the LED lights in your game set up, you know, wherever you're at, this is nice. This is, to me, this is worth it. So I hope you guys like the video. Power A, I hope you guys see this. Keep doing your thing. I do want some of them uh, customized controllers that you guys got. So look at your boy in a future video, okay? But um, on, on a real, this is worth it. I like this controller. I'm actually going to use this when I'm in my gaming setup. And uh, yeah, it gets an approval from me, guys. So enjoy your controllers if you guys have any kind of power a stuff that you think i should look at let me know in the comments i'll check you guys later i'm out